Okay, so um, let's first talk about the full moon. During the full moon, the sun is always opposite to the sign that the moon is in. So, you know, the sun is your ego. It is your vibrance of how you shine. The moon is internal. Sun external, moon internal. Um, so the moon is your internal and emotional side. So when the sun and the moon are opposite, it means that there is a lot of energy that we get outside that we feel more emotional. And somebody born with this has the perfect complement. There's a little bit of a conflict but it's the perfect complement between the sun being in this sign, the moon being in it. And really depends on, it really depends on the signs that the sun and the moon are opposite in. Now, when the sun and the moon are in the same sign, just like they are Sagittarius, go to the, all the good side. Um, but so... Sun and the moon are in the same sign. That's called a new moon. And a new moon is when we go inside and reflect. Um, I'm, t I'm making this video during a new moon. So we feel more gravitated toward going inside and really, really getting into our, um, um, you know, feeling in our skin and our innate lives, because what is the moon? Innate, instinctual, um, you know, and really tending to those inner uh, and emotional matters, such as the new moon in Cancer is, you know, all about family and things like that. So we feel that kind of thing. And it's, you know, a really, really beautiful and peaceful time where the moon is waning, it wanes towards the new moon, waxes towards the full moon kind of like the medusoid mycelium so yeah essentially so the moon is full you look up at the sky you can see the full moon it's bright you know wolves howl at it oh okay i'm not gonna do it because i'm not gonna hurt my voice the moon is only half where there's a shadow on one part of the moon the other part is light. That's that's a new moon, essentially. It's a dark sky. And that also indicates that people born during a new moon are very, very introverted people as well. So, 